Hey guys, welcome to another server miner tutorial and today it's how to make your server a forge server so you can add mods to it. This is very straightforward, all you need to do is obviously log in to your SM Picnic control panel and once you're on the main page you're going to want to go over to installer on the left and here you can browse and install different mods and game versions. So usually we use Spigot, the most updated one, but if we scroll down we can see all of the other different ones that we could use and if we scroll down even more we can see that Forge is down here on the left. So let's go ahead and click that and that will bring us to a new page which has all of the, the different Forge versions. So depending on the mod that you use you might need to use an older version but for this tutorial we're just going to grab the latest version. Now what we can do here is choose the Java version. Uh, Java 8 is recommended, that always works for me, but if you have any higher or lower Java versions it may not work as well. And then what would you like the new world to be called? So you can load an existing world, um, although this could cause issues with it. So make sure you always have a backup. And as you can see I have a ton of different worlds from the different Spigot versions that I've been using. Uh, but today we're going to create a new one, so let's just call it, I don't know, Forge. Keep it simple and then we can go ahead and click install and what this will do is download and install all of the things you need you don't need to do anything else uh, but you can go ahead and download the client version um, so choose whichever version you want and then you can go ahead and play minecraft forge and install all of the mods you want so let's go back here and I'm going to speed this up. And there we go, that didn't take too long at all. So as you can see, it says congratulations Forge and then the version number has been installed and your server will restart on its own. So you can clarify that it is in fact running Forge, it will say down here. And um, if you ever want to change back to Spigot, you can click change down here and you'll be brought back to the browsing page and then you can click install and then Spigot. It's as simple as that. So if you need a server to host it on, make sure you check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out any of my other plugin tutorials, there'll be a link in the description. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.